hatred him because he had such self-hatred and such disrespect for the melanated temple. And because you didn't have any respect for the melanated temple, you helped him to reinforce the self-hatred and the low self-esteem you had while he's in his nigga dick consciousness, and he ended up taking away from you and leaving you vulnerable and handicapped on a psychic level because now your field is fractured and you're confused and hurt and feeling more vulnerable and insecure because now you just got up out of the bed with somebody that don't want you no more because you don't realize he never did anyway. And you're thinking, what did I do? Oh, did I have sex with him too fast? Why he won't call? I keep paging. I keep calling him. I keep leaving a message. He won't return him. Well, he said he's busy, going to get back with me, and he don't. And now it's the games, and now it's the lies. Because that's what it was to begin with. But you couldn't see that. And we have a lot of these black men walking around here with this, condition with this mental, emotional, and psychic condition because they're not men, because they've been nigger rigged, niggerfied, and they are out of their damn mind. Many of them look like men, and they are not men, and their sperm is acid. Their sperm has been neutralized. And when I say neutralized, because, see, a man's sperm is supposed to go through his brain. So his sperm is connected to his brain, his blood, the fluids in his body. The sperm is supposed to go up. Every time a man has sperm to shoot off, it's not supposed to shoot off his nuts. This sperm is supposed to go 360 degrees through this man's body. It's supposed to go up, not always come down. It's supposed to go up and then down in a cycle. It's supposed to follow a grid. It's supposed to go up and through his brain and come down and shoot out. If he want to shoot out, he shouldn't begin all his sperm out every time he want to damn shoot some out because he ends up depleting his minerals and his nutrients. He keeps getting it out. But I'm telling you, y'all need to stop letting all these black men shoot off in y'all mouth and shoot off in y'all damn pussy because a lot of this sperm is devoid of nutrients and reason and it has been neutralized. And then it go up in a woman and cause her all kind of brain, mental, emotional, and psychic Problems. There are some women, and y'all may think this is crazy. They lay with men, and that man gone, and this women wake up in the middle of the night, done seen them men, and they sleep, or wake up and feel like that man present still in their room, and they wondering what the hell going on here, because not only see, I don't know if I ain't gonna go too far down in this. I don't know if y'all ready for this here. There are men that can program a woman's pussy, they can ejaculate in her and do rituals on her and actually take her vaginal secretion and have it to the point where this woman don't want nobody but them, she can't see or think about nobody but them, and she can actually, while she's awake and asleep, feel like that man is sitting right there in that damn room or walking through the room. Now, those types of uh, sexual psychic attractions and obsessions Go on, and you definitely don't want those, especially when it's somebody that don't want you. They're just playing with you and manipulating you because you are like a possession, something else that they've acquired, like a piece of property or a damn toy or a trinket. Then you get played with on a psychic level because you didn't study virtual reality, baby. They studied you and got the ups on your ass because they've been studying. You ain't been doing your homework. They done did there, so they got the ups. When something like that happens to you, you already know you've been played because they knew the rules, and you didn't know them because you didn't know the game you was playing. You just thought you finna get some dick and get some pussy out this cute. This, I'm finna get him, but he done got your ass. And the most powerful, deepest way to be, make somebody a prisoner, make them a slave, is to psychically do it through a psychic sex ritual, to bind them psychically, mentally, and emotionally through dick and pussy shit and taking damn fluids and semen. 
But another very destructive thing to do with semen, which is why I said it's neutral and it's devoid of reason and it doesn't have any nourishment, nigga dick don't give a black woman's pussy any nourishment from his sperm because it is turned so upside down and he's not a man, he's not in his God state, he's moving from a place of self-hatred and he has a very destructive mindset and anything melanated, including himself, he hates. So that's why a lot of men can't, black men can't respect us, don't want us, rather have, rather have any other type of woman that does not look like us and can treat them better. So black women, they run their mouth too much. They want to argue. They want to fight. They want to fuss. Yeah, really, white women don't want to. Latino women don't want to. They treat us like kings. Asian women treat us like kings. Yeah, but uh, the same nigga dick is a lot of the reason why this black woman is so upset and so unhappy because her black man isn't protecting her. Her black man doesn't make sure that she lives in a thriving socioeconomic condition. Her black man leaves her with babies. Her black man leaves her in a war zone where she has to fend for herself. And it's been like that for years. Her black man leaves the house and they blame the state, but still, they don't try to get together and do anything about it. So she has to get on welfare food stamps in Section 8. So the black woman is basically on her own. She's on the lowest, even though there are a lot of black women that are being educated and making money, a lot of them are fucked up because they don't have men and they are alone and then they don't have very many men that want to match them on their level. So many of us are against each other. We're struggling with each other. We're fighting each other. We want to get each other before the other one gets the other. Man want to get the woman before she get him. She want to get him before he get her. We have all this drama and conflict. So instead of a lot of these men realizing and studying the history of how long this has been going on and trying to correct the drama, they'd rather leave because they don't want to really be men enough to deal with their own issue and to deal with their woman that is their counterpart and say, well, it's the black woman. She argues, she fusses, she is always begging. She has her hand out. So I'd rather go to a woman that don't look like her and I don't want to deal with her. And then they admire a woman that does not look like a nigga. And when you really get down to the deep psychology of that, and see, one thing that I admire about white people or people of other races, if they're going to marry somebody outside their race, they don't forget about their community, and they don't stop trying to enrich their community on many different levels in helping the children. When black people, especially black men, a lot of them, I'm not saying all, but a lot of them, from what I've seen, want to disassociate with the blackness and have so much pain wrapped up in the black reflection that they don't even want to remember what it was like to be in the ghetto. I don't want to come around there. I don't want to hang over there. I don't want to drive that way. I don't want to help. I don't want to create any programs to help those people. Now it's them. It's not me. Now they are different because their experience is different. In their mind, they're not even black no more. They can't relate to that. Now that don't apply to them. But it's still your DNA. And that's what I'm talking about, the sperm being neutral, because you have dumbed down so much and disassociated so much and having so much negative energy towards anything that looks like you. So now the sperm becomes acid. The sperm becomes toxic. The sperm is not ejaculated into our vagina, into our uterus, and then coats our vagina and uterus with loving, nurturing energy that raises our vibration and that makes us feel covered, makes us feel protected and secure because we are with our God in the third dimensional realm and he is nourishing and protecting the goddess. It is not that type of situation when that type of nigga dick ejaculates in you. Since he has denounced the genetic cell memory of all of his ancestors that brought him into the third dimensional realm to bring about the will of our men. Since you denounce them, you don't want to hear them, you don't even know them, there's no way that you can nourish the womb of a goddess. The only thing you can do is kill me, defile me, and pull me further away from my goddess God self and snatch me down into a lower third dimensional realm that's based on materialism that is locked into a false matrix that don't even exist, and I'm going to die. I'm going to suffocate and die because you are trying to make me believe that I'm just some nigga 